Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm super excited to have you here. As I promised, I'm going to provide you with a few special recipes, red, green, and then a smoothie that will be just more fulfilling neutrally as we will add a little bit more carbohydrates. So as you know, after a workout, you do need carbohydrates and that's why we're going to use almond milk. So there is more 10 grams of carbs per cup serving and that's what I'm going to use in my smoothie. I have a little bit of an ice, not too much. I don't like too much. I'm kind of European about that. Don't like ice with water. Don't like too much ice in my smoothies. So let's pour the cup of milk into this. Very simple, milk and just one scoop of Riesing. One scoop, nothing else and mix it. How simple is that to actually start your day? Ready? Let's go. All right. More that I actually need it. Wow. It will be so fulfilling for you guys. You may not need anything for your breakfast, depending who you are and if you are a man or a woman, what's your weight, what's your purpose of drinking this? Is it morning or is it actually post-workout, right? Yes, some of you probably want more carbs in the morning than others. Some of you just pay attention to protein or fats. Again, depending who you are, I'm suggesting having this as a good startup of a day, maybe in addition to something else, if you're a professional athlete, or if you're just a stay-at-home mom or a fitness enthusiast like myself right now, that's pretty plenty for me. And I have my carbs, I have my protein, I have my antioxidants in it, and I have my nitrates. So I'm good to go. So again, let's repeat it. Simple recipe, one cup of almond milk, a little bit of an ice, depending how much you want, and one scoop of Riesing. That's pretty much it. Pretty good recovery drink. So now let's go into the red and a green formula. Okay. Now it's your green juice. Probably will become one of your best detoxifiers. So here's what I have for it. Cayenne pepper, one teaspoon. I have a small apple. Then I have a cup of spinach. I have a cup of kale. I have a small cucumber and a small stalk of actually ginger and then two stalks of celery, okay? What I like to do, I like to actually take the teaspoon of my cayenne pepper and instead of putting it into the juicer, I like to put it into my spinach or a cucumber so it absorbs into the vegetable, right? And then when it goes through the juices, I get all of it. Make sense? And another part, half of a lemon juice. I will pour it by the end of it, okay? So let's start with me pouring my cayenne pepper on my cucumber and my ginger. I know you may say she's crazy. I hear that quite a lot. It's okay, but it really works. Okay, so let's start with it. Let's turn on my juicer. I hope you can hear me clearly, but I will go one by one. Dun, ta -da. Delish, delish, delish. Okay, let me push my things here. To use my little powerful tool. Mm-hmm. Mm, that ginger is going right through. Come on, few more. And I know that I have a little bit of the cayenne pepper left here, so 
I'm going to pour it a little bit on my spinach or I'm going to wipe my spinach with it. Mm. Let's go, my celery. There you go. Okay. Nice and green. Okay, that's done. Let's go to my apple. I will mix it a little bit right away with my spinach. Mm -mm -mm. I know, I know, I know, I'm pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. If you ever make juices with spinach, you know how much really spinach you need, right? So you could tell that by using just a cup, I'm not really just relying on the spinach. Otherwise, if I want a spinach juice, I need to probably put an entire bag of spinach. But again, we want a mix of the right nutrients to detoxify your body. And again, it's a really great juice to have a post-workout or by the end of the day. Kale. Oops, coming right back to me. All right, back to my apple. Whoops. <laughs> I lost some. It's pretty visible. This is going to be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Right, almost there. All right, all the veggies and fruits went through. And now, as you can see, residual stuff. Shouldn't be that a lot, but it's pretty dry. And the last piece left is the half of the lemon, yeah? So you can pour right away into it. Take a teaspoon and just mix it. And then take your glass. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And enjoy the green detoxifier. Look, so we got a pretty nice full glass out of the proportions that I shared with you, right? And I know myself, I put a one teaspoon of cayenne pepper here. It will be spicy, and I know that. So if you are allergic or you do not like too spicy things, I would say go easy on it. Maybe a one fourth of a teaspoon, not actually even a half, because I don't want you to make crazy faces when you will have the first sip and say, what in the world this woman told me to do, okay? So let's go into the one of the best detoxifiers I like to make. It's really great, really, really good. And again, if you wanna mix it with something to not feel that much of the ginger and cayenne pepper, because the combo in itself will make you feel like you're scratching your throat. Add a little bit more celery, add a little bit more apple, and it will really soothen down the, the strength of the juice. That's pretty much it. So let's go right into the red drink. It's one of my favorite. There are, of course, variations you can do with that, right? But I will tell you what we have made over this past week that actually work very well also with a recent scoop. 
so you will not feel too much of the beat. It won't be too powerful or overwhelming a beat flavor if you are not a fan of a beat. But, so here's what goes inside. Cup of my favorite Aronia Berry. If you don't have it, yes, you can substitute with acai or blueberry. But again, I already described to you in our previous videos that you were watching while you were purchasing our product that Aronia berry is a pretty powerful antioxidant berry and high in polyphenols compounds. So that's why I prefer that. It's not always available. I understand that. You can purchase frozen one. Or if it's you know the time of the year that you are watching and you are making the juice, hopefully around summertime, that's when the berry is being harvested. So it's definitely available to you. Again, substitutions available. Then one red beet one big carrot, two to three stalks of celery that you will see me going put through, and then a half of a cucumber, okay? So, and lastly, again, I already squeezed half of a lemon. So, let's start it. One piece at a time. If you are very sensitive, remember for your hand, Red beet is messy, right? I do not have a glove on, uh, but normally if I'm playing with turmeric beet, I like to put a gloves on. So, let's push it a little bit. I also should mention, if you don't want too much of a sugar and carbohydrates coming out of this drink, again, it's recovery formula, yeah? Um, go easy on the beets, as you know they're high in sugar. This is not a beet powder extracted from the sugars and not all extracts actually from beet don't have that uh, valuable, I should say, you know what, paying attention to what I'm doing, that didn't work. So let's make sure that if you do not like beets uh, too much, you will go easy on them and also, if you do not want to have too much of a sugar in this recovery drink, uh, you will have half of it. Because again, some beet powders uh, or extracts of the beets are easy on, uh, on the sugar content, and some of them actually are very high. So, it again, depends who you are and when you are going to drink this juice, post-workout or post-run, uh, post-game. Or is it something that you are just having by the end of the day? I would say go easy on the beats. Yeah? I am bringing you a lot of melodic music. I will try to give my best. Also, I am almost there. Any kind of suggestion, idea, or submitting your music. You know what? I want to quickly wash my hands because my hands are really red now. It's pretty good. Let's add a little bit of the cucumber now. If I'm repeating myself, I apologize, but if you want to do something about the uh, beet flavor, again, you can mix and get a more valuable nutrients with this juice if you're going to take a scoop of resync. And you will be very surprised how pleasant of a flavor you will get with the mixture that we're making right now. Okay, this will be probably more than just a one glass, just so you know, guys. It's a lot of residual um, stuff from the fruits and vegetables. Let me take a glass, but you can see it's a lot of juice. Make sure you are pour it over a sink, just like me, because you can already see how much mess I made in my kitchen. Okay, let's have a sip. Delicious. I want you to be aware of a few things. Number one, if it's an evening time and you're just wanted to have a juice, this is probably not your best choice because it's pretty, pretty heavy on sugar, yeah? From the beet and the aronia berry. 
So go easy on those two, maybe amount half of a cup and half of a beet versus entire beet and a cup of berries, yeah? Because again, I don't want you to be up. I want you to sleep peacefully and deeply. And if it's an afternoon and you just trained, then you are perfectly fine consuming that amount of beets and any berries that you choose to make it with. And also, I'm not sure if I again repeat myself, but if you do not like maybe the beet taste too much, take a scoop of Riesing. Yes, you are adding more of the nutrients into this drink, but you will definitely calm down the beet flavor. It will be really delicious uh, drink mixed with this, and you will not have anything residual with this. We did this during an MLB winter meetings, this actually past week, and uh, the guys loved it that we're coming and trying uh, the juices because we are mixing it with different stuff and showing what is the potential of the drink by itself and with other things combined. So really great way to increase the vitality in your day, not in your night, that's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed the few drinks that I shared with you. They're some of my favorites. I hope you will join me on the next videos and that you will continue on listening how you can really increase vitality in your body and in your day and how you can recover faster for your athletic activities. So without saying anything else, I would love to really say big thank you for being here, learning, staying with me. So I hope you take, embrace all of the information and become a healthier version of yourself. For now, thank you again for your attention and have a day full of joy and energy.